How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now it's time for another how to mine video where I show you guys how to mine certain cryptocurrencies. I help you set up a wallet, I help you set up the miner and just see that everything is going smoothly. I have made a few of these videos as well so if you are looking for a certain cryptocurrency to mine check out my channel I have made a few of these and perhaps I have made the one that you are looking for. Now also in these videos I do not go into the details about the cryptocurrency itself. For that, you have to go watch a different video online. There should be a few videos on all the cryptocurrencies. This video is only gonna be about how to mine the cryptocurrencies. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to mine Electronium. I have already made a video on how to mine it with your NVIDIA GPU. So you can check out the link in the video description if you want to mine it with your NVIDIA GPU. But today's video is going to be how to mine Electronium with your CPU, either with an Intel CPU or an AMD CPU. And then later on, I will make a video on how to mine it with your AMD GPU. So with all of that being said, let's get into the mining right after this. Do you live in South Africa and want to get into the crypto mining world? Well, RebelTech is the best place to get all of your mining hardware at extremely low prices. They have a massive range of graphics cards, motherboards, and everything else you would need. So click on the link in the video description to go visit RebelTech and start building your new mining system. Okay, so first up, let's quickly go to coinmarketcap.com where we'll be able to see uh, all of the information about the currency at the moment. So currently it is trading for just about 7 cents uh, USD, so it's not really worth a lot at the moment. It does have a market cap of $373 million. There's a current circulation supply of just under 5 billion coins, a total supply of 5.2 billion coins, and will have a max supply of 21 billion coins. So there will be a bunch of them going around. So don't worry if you don't have uh, any at the moment. You, there is a bunch that you can get. Now down here we'll be able to see the charts. In the beginning of course it had a spike. And then it did go down a bit. But in December of this year in 2017. About 21st, 22nd. Uh, it did do pretty well reaching all time high. Uh, but of course then it did go down a bit. Currently again it's only 7 cents. In tomorrow we never know it could hit a dollar. Uh, with these days with the market you never know what's going to happen so rather stock up on the coins now so you are set for the future uh, also you can go check out currently cryptopia is the only exchange that is trading electronium so you can go to them if you wanted to trade it but anyway let's quickly go to the website which you can just click there uh, then you'll be greeted with some falling coins if you just want to look at that. Uh, once here, you can see that you can download a wallet for your Android device. Currently, Apple, the App Store, is still uh, undergoing, so not yet, perhaps a little bit later. But if you want, you can just download the wallet directly for your Android device. Otherwise, uh, you can also just log in and create an account. But firstly, let's we just scroll down a bit. You'll be able to read up a bit more on Electronium. Some of the articles that was posted on them from Yahoo Finance, Bloomberg, The Telegraph, and just a bit more. You can read up a bit more on the crowd sale success of uh, Electronium. You can just read up there's a few more stuff uh, the exchange is listed still only cryptopia but they are uh, applying to some of the other exchanges like polynex bitrix bitphoenix so there's a few of them and then also you can read up on the team if you want to learn a bit more about the currency but anyway again you can just download the google the android wallet if you want to use it on your phone otherwise just log in create an account and then you are set so i already have an account just quickly going to go to that then, which is over here. So once here, you will be able to see your wallet address. So this is what you want, this entire section over here. You can scan it with your phone, the QR code if you want to as well. But we're just going to use this one. Uh, you'll be able to send uh, ETN through here and then also import from your offline wallet. So we're just going to use this one. You can do a few other things here if you wanted to. But that's kind of all we need. Now, you can quickly go back to the Electronium page where you can go to the download section. So once you click on here, you'll see that the beginners pool mining software. Now, you can use this one. It's pretty straightforward if you want to use their pool, their everything. It does look 
kind of easy it just looks like that if you download it it's going to install it's just a, a exe that you run i'm um, going to show you guys how to set it up through here if you want to use it but i will also we'll also use the cpu miner uh, which uses the uh, the command so once you have it here again just get your wallet address over here and then open up uh the the miner and then all you have to do is copy and paste your address in there you can set your region so which region you're from europe is closer for me you can select your your port that you're going to use for your miner so if you have a high-end cpu you can use that or if you just have a, like a i3 or something like that you can use the triple the 3333 currently i have a ryzen 1800x so i'm going to use the high-end cpu number of threads i'm just going to leave it at eight and then all you have to do is click start now it sometimes it will say that it failed and it's going to retry just give it a bit of time uh, it will pick up later and it will show you your hash rate over here the total of shares and also the amount of bad shares now i'm going to get leave it for just a few minutes so we we'll can see if it actually picks up and if i get more shares okay now we already do have about 10 shares so it did start back from zero and go it went back up to 10. now quickly just to recap now because this is mining with a cpu you have to make sure that your cpu will not be overheating so make sure you have sufficient cooling now i can't just get this thing over here so as you guys can see, my CPU for my Ryzen 1800X is currently at 61 degrees and there's a load of about 70%. Now, if you do put on your uh, threads a bit higher, it is going to take a lot more of your CPU load and it's also going to increase your heat. It will increase your hashing power, but just keep an eye on it. You don't want to go too, too high, otherwise you can burn out your CPU. So also make sure that you select which kind of range cpu you have but now once you want to check if you are actually mining and if you are actually getting your electronium on this program you can go just to help and then go to electronium pools and then just select the one you are using now again we are using the uh, european pool otherwise you can use the asia pool or the us pool but now once it's actually loaded you can go down here you can add in your wallet address just say look up it's going to search you'll also be uh, just down here you'll be able to see uh the all of the information about the pool so how many miners current well, miners is about 2800 uh last block found a day ago hash rate of currently uh, the, the entire electronium network so you'll be able to see last block found two minutes ago the entire network hash rate just a few more information but down here is your information so pending balance zero etn total paid at the moment i don't have anything uh, but you can see your hash rate you can see your total hashes submitted and just a few more information you will have a minimum payout about i think 50 if you just go up here you'll see your minimum payout threshold is 20 etn so you are going to first need to get about 20 electronium coins before they pay out into your wallet which is over here so first you're gonna to have to get 20 uh you'll also be able to see all the transactions over here now this is not the biggest pool out there so it could take longer as you guys saw that the lost block fund was just a minute ago lost block fund for this pool was a day ago so it it's not really getting a lot of uh a lot of blocks so it's not gonna you're not gonna get a lot of coins but now that you can use different pools bigger pools to actually mine on and potentially get more coins so this was the first one and the easiest one to set up you just download a program you add in your address and you are set to go so i'm going to stop this one now i'm going to close it and now we are going to you uh, use a custom pool to actually mine now if you go back to uh, here in the electronium uh, downloads page you can see the advanced mining pool softwares if you go on alternative mining pools you'll actually see a list of all of the different pools you can mine on so you can choose one of these uh, but some of them only have about 
five to ten uh, miners at a single time so there's really not a lot and it's even smaller than the one we were just on so the biggest one that i actually found is the nanopool.org one which has about seven thousand miners it has two thousand workers and has a, a pool a hash rate of 72 thousand kilohashes a second so if we could just check here again so the entire network is about 204 mega ashes a second uh, this pool alone is 72 mega ashes a second so it's almost half so it's a third of the total actually so this is probably the biggest pool out there but now to set everything up here all you have to do is go to uh, etn.nanopool.org i will leave a link in the description you can just click on that then click on help then we are gonna use so you can either use the claim reminder for amd claim reminder for C, for your cpu which we are going to use i already did make a video on how to mine with your nvidia graphics card so we'll leave a link in the video description for that as well and then you can use your wolf miner but we're honestly just going to use the claim reminder it's nice and simple so down if you scroll it down a bit you'll see the claim reminder you can click on your windows cpu and then all you have to do is download the miner here. You can get more information also as well and the latest version from uh, bitcointalk.org. But mostly the thing you are going to need is the wallet address over here. So this is for a local wallet and this is for exchange wallet. So if you are on a crypto, what was it? So if you are on Cryptopia and that is your main wallet, then where was it then you are going to have to put in this command and it's just a bit more information that you have to add here so your you do have still have your normal address and then your payment id so you just have to add that actually extra but we are going to use a local wallet so we are going to use this command now i've already downloaded the miner i will leave mine in the video description to make it a lot easier for you guys so you don't have to set everything up you can literally just go right click and edit mine and you'll be able to edit everything here now if you do not have a bad file that you can actually use uh, this should come one with the with the when you extract the miner but otherwise you can create your own just by right clicking new uh, text document type in whatever and then type in dot that so all you have to do if, if it doesn't pick up if it's still just a normal text document all you have to do is go to view options and then view and then change your hide extensions for known file types so make sure that is unticked otherwise it's still just going to be a normal text document so once you have that just right click edit and you'll be able to see your minor, your bad file over here. So I will also leave uh, leave this in the video description as well, so you can just copy and paste that in. But otherwise, you can just literally use mine if you just want to copy, or you can create your own if you do not trust mine. But anyway, uh, how it works is this first section is going to just link it to the mining program, which is that, the CN miner uh, 64.exe. This, the O section is your uh, server address that you are going to mine pool and mine to, which is nano pool. And then this is your address that you're gonna add. Make sure you add your own address that you got over here. So make sure you use that one and then just copy and paste that in here. Let's just do it again. Uh, otherwise, if you leave it as it is, you're going to mine for me. I would appreciate it, but you're not going to get anything. So just add in your address and you should be fine. Uh, then uh, just a full stop. This is going to be your miner name. So you can call it whatever you want just to be able to recognize if you have multiple miners going. Then another full stop and then your email address. Now you can use any email address. Now Nanopool is going to need your email address to adjust your payout options. So how much you are going to be paid out. And then also they can send you notifications on if your uh, miner is offline or whatnot. Then afterwards, this uh, all pools one is just to let it know that it can mine on different pools as well. But you can take it out if it is giving you some problems. Now, something you can also add 
uh, just make sure that your cooling is good enough you can add your if you go to the readme file you can see more command lines over here that you can add in so for instance we already have uh, the all pool section but you can add the number of threads which is going to be t so t zero is automatic selection which we already kind of do have but you can otherwise just go here and say uh, t uh, we can make it about eight so then it's going to use more threads of your cpu uh, it's gonna it's gonna make your cpu work a lot harder but it is going to give you a bit more ashes as well i'm just gonna leave it on automatic just for now but you can just play around with that and see what works best for you again just make sure about your cooling but once you're done is you can just click uh, you can close it save it and then all you have to do is open it up now you will have to give it a, a while to start mining but if it keeps saying disconnected disconnected uh, just close it up open it up back up again see if that works otherwise you can check out your antivirus or windows defender that that's not blocking it or you can just go in as well and say edit and then at the bottom you can say pause save it like that and it will actually prevent the program from closing and it will give you a notification or it will, it will just tell you why it's not closing and you can just copy that command uh, well that notification in the comments down below and somebody will be able to help you out either me or uh, one of the viewers hopefully but now you can just leave it to mine for a while and just to see that it is actually picking up so currently we are getting about 200 hashes a second uh, i'm gonna just leave it for about five minutes and see what we get Okay, so I left the miner to run for about 35 minutes, 36 minutes. I did lose connection once and then it uh, connected back again. So if that happens, just leave it or close it up like I mentioned. But let's quickly just close it now. And then you can actually go to a nano pool again, uh, the etn.nanopool.org, where you're going to see your progress. So all you have to do is up here, add in your address of your wallet that you added in the bat file search and it should pick up your uh, your progress now just a quick mention uh, a lot of you guys will not see any progress in the first few minutes so you will have to leave it for probably a half an hour to an hour to see anything so if you don't see anything like just straight after you started mining don't worry just give it some time uh, a lot of you guys did mention it with a lot of my previous videos where we mine on nano pool Give it some time it will catch up a bit lighter so as you guys can see here is what i actually got so far so if i go in the last three hours this is the con the connection drop and it went back up again so you will see your progress over there up here you'll see your hash rate your current hash rate it's not going to be completely accurate because of the delay uh, but you will be able to see it there your average hash rate over the last six hours your balance currently is only on five etn and your unconfirmed balance uh, also here you'll just see all of your graphs down here you'll see the miners you are using so the miner 2 was for my nvidia miner that i uh, was using and then miner 1 is the uh, well, one with the cpu so you'll be able to see all of your miners there here you'll be able to see your payouts that you get currently my payout is as a minimum of 500 uh, electronium coins you can change that uh, how you do that is just go to settings up here then you add in the email that you added in the bat file, that email that we uh, selected. You just add it in there. You select the amount, the minimum amount you want or just the amount you want. You can either make it a uh, minimum of 100 or take it up to, which is that, like 10,000 coins. Uh, currently, my minimum payout is 500. So you can just change that, apply, and it should save it for you. So once it reaches, let's say, 100, it's going to pay out into your wallet and you can trade or sell those uh, electronium coins so yeah that's pretty much it uh something else you can check is you can check the calculator it, it'll just give you a rough uh estimation of what you are getting so 
for a day you'll probably get about 11 uh, etn coins in a month 300 now it will fluctuate and also because you're mining with a cpu it is going to be a lot less than with a graphics card so with my graphics card i got almost a thousand with my nvidia oh, with my cpu only 200 so it's always better to mine with graphics cards but if you don't have a strong graphics card you can mine with your cpu so just to quickly recap, uh, I will leave my entire uh, mining program, my mining folder in the description so you can download that. And all you have to do is right click, edit, change all of that, change your wallet address to yours, your miner name, your uh, email address for it to pay out in. You can change the, the intensity of which is mines at, uh, which is that T, which uses all the threads. and pretty much that you can just start that uh, make sure again if it uh, just closes constantly you can add in the pause section and then just let us know in the comments uh, what it says so we can just help you out but anyway that's pretty much it just leave it some time to mine and you are set to go so that's pretty much it for this video on how to mine. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. Also, if you have any suggestion for a different cryptocurrency uh, you want me to show you how to mine, just drop me a comment down in the comment section. So yeah, just drop it down there. Uh, also, if you are struggling with anything, let me know in comments down below. Uh, me or anybody else uh, who's watching this video might be able to help you. So just let me know down there. But now also, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have made a few of these how to mine videos. So you can go check out some of my other videos if you want to learn how to mine certain cryptocurrencies because there are a bunch. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.